it will finish every good thing finish it will definitely come to an end but at least before then it will solve you will survive hi guys welcome and welcome back if you're new here my name is bola harrison kindly stay keep watching enjoy and guys please hit the subscribe button it's absolutely free first i want to say thank you for 1500 subscribers thank you you guys are the reason why i keep doing this you guys are the real deal thank you for sticking it out with me thank you for your support liking my videos sharing leaving your comments literally engaging with me thank you for making it worthwhile in today's video i will be sharing or i'll be talking about what to pack when you're coming down to europe what to put in your bag essential items things that you should not bother bringing and the things that you must drag even if you have to pay for it so um i'm going to say that it depends on the airline you're flying with that that's what determines oh blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the airline you're flying with determines the type of capacity or the, the number of bags you will be bringing along with you if you're flying lufthansa klm which other one flying with the big boys <laughs> if you're flying those airlines then you get 23 kg bags one you get um hand luggage and you get a handbag so depending on which ticket you are also buying either economy business class or first class that's what also determines the the um, weight of your bag basically or i'm just going to say on average you get 23 kg for economy maybe some will allow you just look over maybe 23.5 to 24 kg but if you're flying business you get 30 kg luggage um weight if you're flying first class i i wouldn't know i don't know I, i've not flown yet but i don't know how many kg you are allowed to carry on a first class trip or ticket so if you're flying with turkish airline ethiopian airline egypt air rwanda air or you're flying with emirates and qatar you will get 23 luggage bag two you will get to carry your school bag and a hand luggage worth eight to ten kg so you get the same thing if you're flying for Lufthansa. I can't speak for KLM. You get the same thing if you're flying with Lufthansa, but you only get to carry 23 kg bag one, and then you have to buy for every other one. So it's better you fly with airline that allows you carry two, and then you buy extra, or you fly with airline that allows you carry one and you buy extra two, or then it depends on your, your pockets. So it depends on your budget also. Now, what should be in those bags? I flew Turkish airline, like I said, and I, I got to carry my school bag. I got to carry my hand luggage. I got to carry 23 kg bags too. Now, this is what you should bring along with you. Your school bag should contain your documents and your international passport. If possible, hold your international passport as soon as you get to the airport and keep checking it and if it's going to be in your school bag make sure that you keep checking it like every five seconds <laughs> i'm sorry like it's true like i was basically checking my passport like every five ten seconds to make sure that it was still in my school bag <laughs> so you want to put your essential document because when you get to the airport you don't want to have you don't want to be opening the hand luggage you're carrying every five seconds to check your things or to bring out documents for immigration officers if they request for it so you want it somewhere within your reach so your your document like your original degrees and all your essential documents you want to put them in a file and you want to put it inside your school bag that's the backpack you'll be carrying or your handbag whichever one then you want to also put your laptop i can't stress how important a laptop is when you're coming to europe to study even if you're coming to work because you don't want to use the little change that you brought along with you to start buying a laptop here you will get second hand you will get you will get um, hand to hand you also get brand new but i don't think that you should come and spend the you should come and ah bola i do not think that you should arrive here and start spending the money that you brought with you on a laptop so if you have a working laptop from home you can bring it don't say you want everything cha cha brand new when you come to europe no you'll be given a student email address and everything you want to do every correspondence with the school will come through that email address at some point in time also because your classes might be online not like your classes will be held online like documents things that the lecturers want to communicate with you might be through your dashboard your university dashboard your student profile your dashboard so you don't want to come here and start worrying you're in class you are lost it happened to me because i came here without a laptop i was lost in class because sometimes they were saying some things and i didn't understand that it was right there in the laptop that people were being able to follow what the lecturer was saying because the slides were shared on our dashboard 
already another thing you should not forget to bring is your mobile phone <laughs> if you're using a phone that is not working i would advise you that you should invest in a mobile phone because everywhere you go you for the first one month even more you'll be using your phone as your map google maps everything will be on your phone reaching your family which is very important reaching people you don't want to be offline trust me you don't want to be offline you want to be online because like we say in nigeria if you have data see half of your problem is gone you want to be connected so a working phone and then your chargers i'm going to show you the type of chargers that you should bring and if you have the other type then i'm going to tell you what to do so for your chargers you know this is the regular charger we use back in nigeria the three mouth charger and then sometimes you also have this one which is the two mouth charger now in europe the socket uses this two mouth charger if you bring this one it will not fit into the european socket so you have to buy what they call a travel adapter eu travel adapter that's an adapter that allows you put your um charger in and also the other part goes into the european type of socket if you are coming with this go to the market either from anywhere you're coming from go to the market and tell them you want to buy adapter now i would prefer or i would advise that you buy something like this this can help you it fits into any of the european sockets so having said that you want to come with a travel adapter you want to come with a charger that has that now for your laptop it will likely come with a three mouth socket so you must get an adapter for your laptop else you would not be able to use it here um that's for your school bag and then maybe you could put essential things other things like your toothbrush and a sachet toothpaste because your bag might be searched so you don't want to put a toothpaste if you're going to put a toothpaste it should be like the sachet one the smaller one for your school bag and every other thing like maybe i don't know barrels pens can go into your school bag now for your hand luggage for that luggage you get eight to ten capacity so what you would do or what i would advise you to do if you have like stationaries if you have like some few clothes you could put some of them inside the hand luggage to reduce the luggage the hand luggage goes into the plane the 23 kg bags go into the um storage capacity of the plane so for that hand luggage there are things that you can put inside that will be seized if you put anything above i think 30 millimeters it's going to be seized so everything that you think is liquid maybe like your facials anything you have that is liquid foundation makeup foundation can still go but you see anything bigger like a jar like your cream if it's more than 30 millimeters just put them in the 23 kg bag but the, the 8 to 10 kg bag you can still squeeze in some clothes because when you get to the weighing scale they can still overlook if it's like if it runs above 8 kg now for the 23 kg bags two of them one has to contain your clothes i know people say don't come with clothes i know people say don't bother to carry your jeans and shoes and all of that i'm going to tell you for me i think you should come with a few clothes not like you should pack all your wardrobe and come to europe you have to sift through your clothes and find the ones that you think that are dear to you so you want to come with like jean because jean you will find here low quality jeans you will still get for like 14 15 euros up to 20 euros good quality jeans you will have to spend like 40 to 50 euros for good quality jeans, maybe 35 euros which i don't think is you're just coming in clothes should not be the first thing you want to spend your money on so your 123 kg bag should contain clothes now this is another thing i would advise if you are the type that takes medication especially for girls if you are going to go through heavy cramps or you have special medication you take because sometimes they will not allow you to take this thing without prescription this is what i would advise you to do let me show you so when you are packing your clothes in your 23 kg bag you see the back pocket of your jean you can put your medication inside of it that's what i did you can put like your medication you take for your cramps or something and then you fold it like this at the back and you fold it like this and you put them inside your bag for your clothes so that way your medication is safe and you know where you put them and then when you are loosening your bag you can find it and inside that 23 kg bag you can still slot in some things that are not so heavy now the second 23 kg bag and trust me guys see don't use two fancy fancy boxes for this stuff because the box itself weighs an average box an average plastic box weighs to like from like 2.5 to 4, 4 kg so when i got to the airport i had to change my fancy box and i had to carry a ghana mosco i'll show you the kind of ghana mosco later i had to transfer my clothes into a ghana mosco i also had to use a ghana mosco to pack my food don't bother using a fancy box to pack your food don't bother using box there is nobody looking at you at the airport you will see a lot of people black and white using ghana mosco bags this is what the bag looks like so when i say ghana mosco bag this is what i mean this is what the bag looks like this one is very thick 
it's thick it's stronger so no matter what you put inside it can ha it can um take the weight because you'll be doing a lot of dragging and lifting so that bag can take the weight so that's for the second bag for your food now what should be inside that bag a goosey you can decide to grind it for me i'll tell you to ground is it ground or grind i'll tell you to bring grounded egg goosey so that you can sun it because unless you will get blender when you come here but for the main time you will not get it but if you are eating a goosey jebu you know the egg goosey that we blend with pepper i can tell you to maybe bring half of a goosey that is not grounded but if you eat the other type of a goosey ibo that's what they, they call it back home the egg goosey where it's already grounded then i'll tell you to bring more of grounded egg goosey it even saves you time especially on days when you're coming back from work and school and you are extremely tired so you should come with ogbono also grounded cocoa yam powder or for if you i don't know tikna dried fish like dried catfish smoked fish stock fish dried meat dried pomo dried periwinkle I don't know if afang will survive when you come here but i think there's a way around it you can bring your afang leaf at least that will go like one time that's a mistake i made i should have brought afang like afang leaf dried you want to also come with palm, uh, palm oil it depends on how you pack it i brought palm oil here like about that big coca-cola the big coca-cola bottle so i brought it i put them in a black politin bag i wrapped it put it in another black politin bag i saluted it then i put it in a brown envelope big brown envelope i wrapped it and saluted it then put it in another politin bag and i slot it at the down of my bag so even if they open my bag the top part of it you only see the smell of food is what will hit you you won't want to like open all the way down so i carried crayfish which is very very essential crayfish and prawn i still have my items here with me i'm going to show you there's no need to carry rice and spaghetti rice you will find here very cheap spaghetti you'll find here like 60 cents 50 cents it's cheap there's no need to buy it because the, the weight is too much one spaghetti one golden penny weighs 0 0.5 kg weighed it i dropped it so you want to carry your seasoning maggi Magino is quite expensive here. In African store, Magino goes for like about 4.5 to 6 euros. Then, um, the seasoning like curry thyme is expensive here. Small bottles is kind of like expensive. So you want to bring your seasoning, pepper soup spice, you want to bring it. If you eat banga, if you eat banga soup, I think they have like the powdered one they put in sachet, not powder, um, the one they already milked that is inside plastic. It can also come with it here because I've not seen that here. The ones I've seen in African store looks more like palm oil than banga oil for soup. So <laughs> if you eat banga, you can also come with your banga oil. Then granite and your there's no need to bring salt you can bring granite because it will help you gary yellow gary and white gary very very essential because i use my white gary to do drinking gary and i use my yellow gary to do eba to eat my soup so that way i save my drinking gary even though it will finish every good thing finish it will definitely come to an end but at least before then it will serve you will survive so you also want to come with pando yam if you eat pando yam I brought one kg pounder yam semo one kg my pounder yam just finished like last two weeks so pounder yam semo if you also eat um wheat amala is very expensive here amala is very expensive so you can grind your amala i did my amala myself but unfortunately i couldn't bring it because of the weight another thing you want to come with again is your custard oats conflicts you will find here oats you will find here um oats and conflicts you will find here but custard so you can bring custard i've not seen this custard yet this is the one i brought with me since last year i brought like about six rows and i still have a lot of them so you want to come with custard indomie you will find in african stores or you find at some of the supermarkets so at the african store one goes for 50 or 60 cents you can bring indomie maybe 10 i brought 20 pieces to survive me for like before i settle in and start looking for the shops you can also come with toothpaste if possible buy like three pieces of toothpaste to last you for a while and bam not really essentially for the cold if you are a lady i recently found out through my friends oh my god god bless them that you can use balm when you're having menstrual cramps you see the way i've been emphasizing medication for cramps you want to come with it because when you come here what they will give you is ibuprofen and without without an appointment at the doctors and without a prescription pharmacies might not sell ibuprofen for you so you want to buy your felvin you want to buy your diclofenac you want to buy whatever drugs you take or herbs that you take for that and this brings me to another point if it takes if you take herb a lot guys girls if you take agua a lot which is herbs you want to come with them dried maybe put them in plastics already not put water don't put anything and put them in your food bag bring underwear underwear is very expensive here for ladies bra is very expensive here they sell sexy lingeries but the price can 
and be killing so you want to look sexy but your pocket might be draining so come with underwear come with bra for panties and maybe tight shorts and all of that you can buy at the cheaper stores like primark you will get but i would advise that bring as much as you can bring as much as you can for underwear even the same thing goes for guys underwear is kind of like expensive here you want to come with your stationaries maybe a few books you will use it's not so expensive here but i have all my writing materials all my school materials i brought them here with me so you also want to come with a few shoes you can just maybe the sneakers you will wear and one more in your bag maybe two flat shoes don't bother you will see shoes here cheap and if you don't buy brand new you can always go to the thrift store to buy shoes thrift store you will get very clean shoes so the same thing goes for winter coats you can buy one i came with two winter coats i bought them at dubai in ibadan you can buy at yaba you can buy at um, um katangua you can buy you can buy uh at the fairly used market buy trip and winter jacket all those don't buy buy something that will survive it because that's what saved me for the while i was there i came when it was cold so you want to buy maybe one thick one or you buy two i wore one and then i tied one around my waist to save space in my bag then you also want to come with tin tomato such such as see guys the tin tomato they have here is very liquid it takes so long to dry unlike the one we have back home i brought tin tomato such as with me like about maybe three rows or so so you can bring along with you ground pepper and dried pepper another thing that i'll tell you not to forget to bring is pepper soup spices it's very essential i have mine right here my mom made this for me or she packed this for me this is the one that i've not been grounded you know the bosa and you know everything sha and then this is the one that has been grounded in fact i had so much of this i, I still have enough and this thing i made money with this pepper soup spices i cook pepper soup for people africans you know one time someone contracted me to make for a party and then you know i got some other orders to make pepper soup i had a friend over and after making that and then we were like i should make for them with chicken like so it helps with the cold it also helps you on days you are missing hope pepper soup and rice pepper soup alone you won't find a call here i've not seen a call anyway so pepper soup like that you also want to come with so if you are from the west if you are from mundo state particularly you would want to bring this this is pepper um, bitter leaf grounded bitter leaf and this is oh this is my stockfish i just have a few left oh my god <laughs> this is my scent leaf so it's also been grounded and this is marubo my mom made this for me let me tell you it's very essential if you eat marubo or if you're from Mundo state and you know that soup you would never ever find it here so you want to grind it you want to ground them that's the dry leaf you will dry them and grind them and then bring them along with you because i have not seen and i know i would not see for a very long time beans if you if possible i'll tell you to ground your beans for moi moi and akara i bought it from the african store and i'm yet to even eat it so you want to grind your beans that way it's not so heavy but beans is very heavy but if you can you can bring beans but let me tell you now that beans is heavy beans is going to add so much to your weight but the beans they have here you will get oloni beans that's a small beans but it's going to be very rare and difficult in belgium i found out that they sell in brussels in czech republic i've not seen it the one they have is very hard and it takes so long to cook i have this milk I brought powder milk. I think I brought almost 10 rolls and it's been surviving me. If you can buy the refill, but I just feel like refill has too much hair in it. So, but if you can buy refill, buy. But me, I brought the rolls because the roll also give me portion control. So, I only have these two sachets left, left. So, whatever milk you take, because the milk they have here is liquid milk. You can use it for oats and for custard, but it's somehow it tastes less and then for it gets spot easily when you open it my makeup and my hair items this is my got to be glue i've not even used it this is my um what's it called gel i also brought my relaxer and i also brought this so if you're a guy if you know how to barb come with your clipper for your personal use and also come with your clipper for clients if you're a girl that cuts your hair come with your own barbing um, tools if you're a girl that you are a caterer come with your catering essentials those things that are important not the old panel just come with those important items if you are a tailor i will tell you to come with your tailoring things thread thread is very expensive here yeah, thread is like two euro fifty cents tiny thread you know that thread we used to buy two fifteen here that thing is two euros fifty cents it's very expensive
<laughs> so come with tread come with hand need for the days you want to mend your clothes because they barely mend here and if you go to stores they mend it's very expensive so if you can carry and carry or maybe fabrics to sew or you can sew and bring them here to sell in the summer or in the winter or sell to africa as i would say you should bring if possible if you have the money you can buy extra 23 kg and put your sewing machine and put some essential sewing things inside and bring it to you it's going to cost money you will see sewing machine here but at least you already have back home and extra luggage will be like maybe 100 k naira. you can just bring it once and for all though you come here and buy i had like three i had to leave back home so if i had known how to have bought extra kg for it it's like very, very expensive here if i've said it before i'm saying it again because oh you know that soup we cook back home if you're a yoruba girl that you blend that at like big bear with onion you blend it and maybe very few tomato or none at all that soup then that you put on the fire and pop and moil and boil that's that's what they is that thing for it's very expensive here so you want to come with your prawn and crayfish very essential for me i for me i also came with my um this was a gift from a friend like i'll thank you so much and you want to come with your i don't know if you can see it your perfume oil your deodorant your body spray your skincare those things are expensive here it's not like as if skin products are expensive but your body will change so before your body will change you will have the normal things you use back home because you see how difficult it was for me to transition to stop using the skincare um, product i was using back home and so Every good thing will finish. Oh my tongue, it will finish. But at least for the meantime, you will not be worried over. You will not be stressing over getting them for your skin and for your for your body. If you are the type that reacts to water or change of environment, you will react. But at least you'll be safe. So you want to come with your body lotion, your hair cream, and your wigs. Girls, women, wigs are very ex uh, wigs are very expensive here. Then if you have, if you can buy in Nigeria. In Naira, buy it. Wigs are expensive here. It's quoted in dollar and in US. All these websites where influencers they tell you to buy, you'll be seeing good wigs for like 300 euros, 350, 500, 1000 when you can buy a home. So if you can buy at home and bring it them here, it's better. Making your hair too is expensive. So come with them. The things you will use to make your hair like mousse, got to be glue, um, eco styling gel, you can come with all of those things that you, before you will find them. It takes time and then by the time you find them too ah, removing that money from your pocket sometimes then eh, it used to pinch so like i said for oats and conflicts you find them here you see this quaker oats here in african store you see other type of oats this is almost three euros then this is the goosey for almost six euros this is what you will find it's 400 gram and i i was i stingily cooked it like four times so if you can't come with the goosey now all these things will be too heavy in one bag so eventually you would have to buy another 23 kg bag to put your food it's better you use two bags conveniently to carry enough food and trust me i can tell you that it will last you six to six months above even going to eight months to a year if you use two bags to carry food conveniently for yourself thank god you're not coming with family it's not as if you are coming here to feed battalion everybody here is mind your business so your food is going to last you unless you have other christmas you want to come and be doing for the christmas for africans that are here but nobody is coming to look for you so your food is going to last you you see all my items are from nigeria and i still have them thin tomato the one they have here is not the one that dries fast that one it takes so long to dry so you can still bring roll of thin tomato like three three rolls is okay all this and curry thyme jollof rice spices fried rice ingredients they have here but it's, let me tell you it's expensive when you are buying that they are bottle of curry for almost three euros when you are packing pack well when you get to the airport you don't want to start loosening your bag don't bother use this kind of Go. don't bother to put it inside fancy bag nobody's looking at you at the airport when you get to the airport tell them to cellophane your bag they have this white tape it's 1000 naira. they will wrap it for you it will be intact nobody's going to touch it then you take marker buy marker from home write it and buy padlock padlock your bag hold your key essentially hold your key very important keep it somewhere safe in fact if possible wear a neck chain and put your key that's what i did during nyc <laughs> put your key wear it keep it somewhere safe buy digital scale i think it's for like 4k or 5k buy it and use it to weigh your bag from home go with a family member so anything that is overweight they take it back home for you that's very important so when you get to the airport let me tell you another trick you see those immigration officers that searches your bag for food you will pay maybe one five or two thousand naira for every bag of food but there are some that we want that there's a section that they will search your bag just tip them like one five or two thousand naira tip them and walk away don't let them search your bag if you are carrying palm oil, that's important. Tip them. That's what I did, and I brought my palm oil. You see the way I'm now 
I'm not me alone. It's okay. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy. And guys, please like this video, leave your comment, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you. Mwah. <laughs>